Hey guys, what's up? It is Outside That Box 27 here, and today I'm going to be going over my first impressions of Dark Souls 3. Now, number one, if you have played the Dark Souls games before but do not have the third one because you really don't know if it's going to be good or not, well, let me just go ahead and tell you this game is amazing. Really, if you are a veteran to Dark Souls, I highly recommend it. Highly. It is truly an amazing game. But if you are a beginner, I don't really know. I think that you'd need to start with the second one. Because, well, you're going to be hard pressed in this one. I am not a beginner, however. I have, in fact, started with the first one and played all of them now, including Bloodborne, which isn't even in the main series. It's just made by From Software. So, let me just go ahead and say, yes, I have experience. This is not from a noob's point of view. This is from a vet's point of view. So, yes. Let me just go ahead and tell you, it is well worth it. Now, this game's story and details really makes you want to vote for video games as an art form. You see... This game proves that video games are an art form. They can really be something else. Now, I know what you're thinking. How could video games be something else? They're just for kids. Well, guess what? No, they're not. Adults play more video games than teenagers. It's a scientific fact, actually. So, next time you say video games are just for kids, think about it. They're not. It's art. This game's story, however, is incredible. Let me just go ahead and tell you... I want to know so much more about it, but I can barely find anything about it. But if you want to know more about Dark Souls' 3 story, I highly recommend Game Theory's video on You Are No Hero in Dark Souls 3. Link in the description. But this game is so hard. Here, let me give you an example. In the tutorial, you're getting used to the controls, right? You really don't know what to expect. Because you're sitting here, you're trying to get used to the controls, you're thinking, uh... It's starting to get a little easy, I'm starting to get it. Well, out of nowhere, in one room, you're expected to do with this boss. And this boss is hard for beginners. I killed him in my first try. <laughs> he was... He was difficult. That's all I'm gonna say on that. But, really, this game is incredible. My first impressions were this. I walk in... To the game, I'm sitting here, I've just created my character. I'm like, yeah, this game's gonna be fun, I know it's gonna be hard, but... Yeah, I'm gonna do good. So then, I get used to the controls, I'm thinking, this is way easier than I expected. I lower my guard, I'm starting to get a little reckless. And then the game, that boss fight, has two stages. I beat him in my first try, and that's when I realized, this game is no joke. It legitimately forces you into this room and there's this knight with this giant sword, coiled sword, sticking out of his stomach and this weird spider thing on his back. I, you have to pull out the sword to continue. So you pull out the sword, you're like, okay, I pulled out the sword. And then he comes to life with a spear for a weapon, proceeds to murder you, and then you have to start all over again with no souls. This is part of the game where it teaches you, you have to be smart. You cannot run into situations thinking, yeah, this is going to be super easy. You cannot. You have to think before you act in this game. So then, I went out, once I beat him, I went to the Fire Link Shrine. Fire Link Shrine. So when I get to the Fire Link Shrine, I'm sitting here, and I get in there... At first, I didn't know what to do with the coiled sword, so that was a really noob thing of me to think. So then, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? And then, I realize I can just stick this coiled sword in there, and now I have a main bonfire. The game isn't clear right here, but you are supposed to go to that bonfire, and then, after you went to the bonfire, you are supposed to...
you are supposed to go to the high wall of Lotharic. The next stage in this game. So I get to the high wall of Lotharic. So I'm there, I'm running around, and then I realize the environments to this game are beautiful. Complete beautiful. It's just amazing what they can do. And then I realize, you know, I have to use my YouTube channel to tell people about this masterpiece of a game. So, I do that. Now I am here making this first impressions video. And my impressions right now is, I, am I enjoying the game? Yes, I am enjoying it a lot. It's so far my, my second favorite game right next to Battlefield 1. And yes, it is worth the $32 to get it brand new. It really is. It really, really is. It is just amazing. There we go, guys. We got this done. Anyways, this game is just beautiful. I don't know how to put it, except it's beautiful. This game really hits you right there and in the middle. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my first impressions of Dark Souls 3. Later, I'll do my middle impressions of Dark Souls 3 in a week or two. And yes, I will get back into the swing of uploading. I know I have not done it in forever, but I will get back right into it. And I'll see you guys next time.